I just finish the, the we, other sorry, we, I did say one person, one question, actually. Um, the situation is that the proposals are based on the feedback that Mr Newman and the governors have had over the last number of years, I said this earlier, um, to try and change the, the education pathway, if you want to use that word, of the children that are at the first school. That's why we're doing this proposal. This is nothing against any other school. This is purely ensuring that there is better educational choice in the village. And we, as, as, as Bridget said, engagement has been taking place and we can, we can only do as much as we can and we can only do as much as we're allowed to do in relation to, to other education areas. Sorry, really quickly, please. And I don't want to be shut down here because I know there's a lot of, as you said, we've all got to be treated mm -hmm. like adults and yeah. adults here. But the people that are coming to you are those that are wanting that choice of going on to Compton. I have nothing against the people that choose that. The, those of us who have never said anything are very happy with the system we have. Mm -hmm. So I find that quite strange. Also, birth rates for them. And we know that the, the last two years you've had mixed reception in year one classes because there's very, very small intake of children coming in on the birth rate. That surely is also got to be taken into account, not just the can, can I just ask Mrs. Mrs. Desborough to talk about intakes? So intakes, yes. yeah, absolutely. Um, so the reason obviously we have had the mixed uh, year R1, which has had some implication, you know, because of uh, smaller number, yeah, absolutely, and it supported your children, and I know Miss Slater thinks that the progress, you know, year one children making that mixed class has been done so to enhance provision. However, it's not just those, those smaller numbers that have determined that the additional class has had to be lost this year. Okay, it's because of the, you know, the wider numbers that have been lost throughout the school, because if you, um, which I haven't got the figures in front of me actually, look at the numbers that have gone through, it's actually not because of the smaller numbers in R1 that there's been the loss, it's because there's been a loss further down or further up the school as it were. Right. Okay. okay, so we've got, so I've got two ladies here who both had their hands up for ages, so I'm going to take their, their questions and then I'm going to close the meeting. Um, what we'll do is, we haven't addressed all these pre-submitted questions, so I'll pass those on to the governors and they can address them through their FAQs on their website. I'd encourage you, if you have other questions, to keep on writing in with them um, and we shall take from there. So if I take you first and then... Um, I just wanted to ask about academy status. Um, I was interested in the consultation material that it says one of the key things, it says it allows schools more freedom to choose curriculum subjects. So I was just wondering what other <coughs> curriculum subjects you were planning to offer because uh, you say that there's, you know, there's space on site, there's now an empty classroom. Um, I have, my eldest is at the village college, year five, amazing facilities, facilities I don't think you could match here, yes. you know, science labs, cookery labs, so I'm, I'm interested because obviously my youngest daughter is here, mm -hmm. what facilities, you're, what, what extra curricular facilities, subjects you're thinking of offering here that is an advantage of going academy? Um, I think linked to that advantage, advantage of going academy is Obviously, it does say about curriculum choice and making sure that we can work. Uh, but it says if to it choose more freedom to choose curriculum subjects. Quick, absolutely, so and uh, no, that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying that that would be in conjunction if we did become part of the multi academy trust, would be in conjunction with the academy to work out what provision is actually in place currently and what provision do we think would enhance children's learning opportunities that we feel. Has the five core principles um, put into it. But actually, oh, what I was going to say is actually, as well as curriculum enhancement, what the idea is is that going to the two tier system and going from, th you know, not cutting out a key stage, your children will have those opportunities of wonderful facilities if it was to go ahead at Compton from year seven. But actually, they'd have the same provision here where of consistency of provision through the key stage two systems, they wouldn't have their key stage two, which is obviously a benchmark at the end of year six, which is that's where the testing takes place. Well, actually midway through preparing for those testing, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be broken and gone to a different feeder school. Um, there wouldn't be that disruption. It would give access to the two-tier system where they do have that provision from year seven. 
and that they become leaders of the school and have that additional responsibility added to their um, remit under the two tier going up to year six. But as I say, also as a multi-academy trust, it gives us the opportunity to look at these extracurricular enrichment that fits with the five core principles and the ethos of this school that want to drive it forward and give the best standards for education. Okay, so very quickly, last question please, because your children will want you, those people um, from the crash.
Lots they haven't, they haven't bought it. It's been handed over to them. But the, the land is restricted for educational use. So, so we, can't, we goes, can't build houses. If it goes to tier, there is nothing to stop Stratton having that as a primary school. No. Fine. No, fine. Okay, now look, um, they, there's another. Um, the other people sitting here have got to have a meeting with um, the staff at five o'clock. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for treating each other with such respect. Thank you.